I don't care how big that smell is. I don't care how white their teeth are. You never know when somebody is going through something. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Devan and if you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ain't new here, what's up y'all? Don't forget to like, comment, share this video. Also, be sure to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss me. What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video is a motivational talk and it is basically seven major ways to improve your mental health. So, I'm just going to hop right into the video and just give y'all some tips on mental health because mental health is so important. All I hear about people talk about mental health, mental health, mental health, mental health. And I'm going to be honest, I used to be one of those people who like, well, it's a whole bunch of yada, yada, yada. I never really took it serious, but the more, the older you get, life is changing. So much have changed in the world um, down to social media real life your own thoughts so i feel like mental health is very 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 important and not only that y'all i was just in the shop a couple of days ago and i heard this girl say like your own mind will literally f you and when i heard her say that you know it just like it really clicked it hit something because it's like yes your mind your thought will really like get you down. Your thoughts will really just trick you and psych you out into thinking things that haven't even happened yet. It's never going to happen. Or it's just you, like you just in your own head, which ultimately our thoughts is not our thoughts, right? So a lot of times I feel like the wicked plays a big part on it. So that's why I wanted to hop into it. And I feel like these are tips for anyone, men, women, children, um, back to school children, anybody, women, men old young middle age whatever the case may be nobody is exempt from going through mental health issues so i just want to throw that out there so yeah i have seven major ways that you can improve your mental health and i also added like six bonus tips but let's see how fast i can go or let's see how long it would take because y'all know how i am i get to rambling and i know a lot of times y'all be like girl just get to the point. So here we go. Seven major things to improve your mental health is number one is letting go of the I have to have it all mentality by this age. So y'all, I was one of I was one of them. Okay. And I felt like when I turned 25 years old, y'all, I cried. And I, I y'all probably like, for what, girl? Like, you better be grateful that you even turned 25. I'm very much grateful that I turned 25. But at the same time, I felt like at that time, I had to have it all figured out. I had to have this fake illusion about what my life was supposed to look like by the age of 25, not knowing that 25 is just really the beginning. Sometimes even 30 is just your beginning. We have no idea of what our beginning look like or what age it starts at. So I feel like a lot of times when I was going through that phase, again, I was still young. So when I had turned, just turned 25, I felt so over, overwhelmed with emotions. Like, what's next? I was scared. I was like, where's my life going to be now? Like, what's supposed to happen? Like, this big miracle supposed to drop in my lap. Like, I was thinking so much. I was thinking so, thinking not in a way that I should have been thinking. And I feel, I feel like for those who are out there who are turning a certain age, you don't have to have it all figured out and it's okay it's okay not to know the next steps in your life it's okay not not to know what the next chapter or in life awaits for you we don't know none of us knows so i feel like that's number one is to let that mentality go it don't matter what age you turn you never know when your beginning is gonna happen you never know when life starts to shift and change for the better for you 
So let go of that mentality, y'all, because y'all, I was a hooping, hollering person when I turned 25 in silence, though. Nobody knew until I actually told them. I was like dying in the inside because it's like I'm turning 25 years old. I have to have this. I have to have that. It was so much that was going through my head that I didn't even understand, but not also me trying to be grateful again of turning 25 because most people don't even live to make it to that age. So I stopped complaining and I stopped and I got out of my own head because I knew that was not me even thinking because I know that it's the blessing of turning 25 and more, many more. So yeah, so y'all, that was just a little story on the first one because that was personal. That was my first one because that is very personal to me. But I no longer think that way. God can have anything in store for me, no matter how old I am. So number two is find something productive to do every day. This has to be one of another important thing is to find something productive to do. And when I say productive, I mean just that. Find something that you like to do and that is beneficial to you. Um, whether it's getting stuff done that you need to get done, finishing up on work, um, it's things that you need to, that needs to get done, a necessity, things that you know that you need to get done, a very productive day in a busy day, y'all. Most of the time, people see me or hear from me, they're like, "Man, I haven't heard." Yeah, I stay busy. Am I busy? Is productive? I'm always doing something that's beneficial to me so that's number two is just being productive every day and it's okay hold on it's okay to have relaxed days too don't get me wrong that's another mental health improvement is self-care which is relaxing that can just be just simply mean relaxing nothing else nothing more um number three is music y'all be mindful of the music that you're listening to today in today's world because some music I just can't get with. I'm sorry. Y'all, I be going back to the old school a lot of times because some of this new music I can't get with. Some of these lyrics I can't get with. But again, who am I to judge? I just don't listen to it if that's the case. But music, music plays a big part in major um, mental health because I feel like what you, it's like, it's just what you're receiving. And positivity. And not only does it have to be music, it can be your favorite podcast, it can be motivational talk, it can be Bible talk, it can be everything that is positive, that is good, that is feeding your mind. That is what is very important. And again, music is one of them, whether it's gospel, RB, even some hip hop. Whatever, whoever you like, I ain't the one to be like, you can't listen to that. You can't listen to this. What I will say, what ain't good to listen to is nothing demonic, okay? Don't listen to, I'm not listening to nothing like that. No. Okay, so music, y'all. Music is number three. Number four is just think about, think about what makes you happy. Think about happy things that haven't even happened yet. So, y'all, this this hit home for me because a lot of times I do this and I have always done this as a little girl is think of things, happy things that haven't even happened yet. Since I was a little girl, y'all, I have always just envisioned me like where I want to be in life. And regardless if it's not happening in my awakening life, it made me happy to even think of it. Because I feel like at some point, I know I'm going to reach there. I'm going to get there. So that's very important. Just think about things that made you happy in the past. Think about things that makes you happy now. Things to be grateful for and things that haven't even happened yet. Because when you sit and think about things that haven't even happened yet, but they're positive and they're happy things, you never know what will show up at your door. You never know what will show up in your life. So I think it's very important. Our thoughts is so important to think positive and I know how how easy it is to get tricked to think of the negative it's so easy to fall into that trap but I promise you like you know how like people used to say think if you think of a negative thought then think of three good thoughts and I know sometimes y'all I'm gonna be honest that did not work for me 
but you have to think positive because sometimes y'all the moment that you have doubt or the moment that you have any negativity can blow the whole thing have you ever went somewhere and you thought about um just say for instance if you had an interview and you're going for a new job and the first thing you thought was like dang i'm not gonna get this job but then you're like no 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 you know maybe i get this job that little doubt right there that you had in the beginning could be the reason why you didn't get the job so it's very important just to think positive regardless if you get it or not regardless if you have that feeling or not and i know we always think the worst but hope for the best but sometimes you have to think positive and still hope for the best okay <laughs> so that's number four number five is take a break off social media i don't know how important that is i do it all the time everybody know i do this all the time i can take two months three months a month off and just leave social media just leave it because social media y'all and i'm not talking about people lifestyle y'all because i ain't the one to compare myself you they are them i am me i i feel like i can get it too that's how i feel like my mind is just there i feel like oh i'll be happy and clapping for other people so that's not the issue it be these it be the negative things that be happening in life that can consume your mind too and just make you fearful and make you afraid to go out into the world to have fun because everything that's going on in the world now i'm not saying don't be mindful of what's going on in the world but i'm just saying sometimes the things that i see on the internet makes me want to stay locked down in the house because it's like going out there is like a dangerous world but i don't want to live my life in fear and again, God said, I don't know how many times in the Bible to do not fear. So that's 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 why I'm going to go with do not fear. And God is always with me. That man upstairs is always watching over me. Okay, I am highly favored. You best to know that. Heavily anointed. Okay, chosen. So I'm not worried. But at the same time, when you... When you vit, when you see these things on social media and you constantly scrolling, you constantly seeing all these negative and bad things happen. Sometimes that can get to you and you like, dang, you can't go nowhere. That's the first thing you think. So just be mindful of what you watch on social media. Even if you go back on social media, be mindful of what you start watching again. So that's important. Take breaks off social media. And when you do, be mindful of the things that you do watch. Number six is reading a book or a Bible. So read your favorite book, uh, whatever that book may be. Y'all, I haven't read a book in a long time. Let me tell you, the only book that I'm reading is the Bible. That is the only book that I'm trying to get to know right now. Nothing else. Now, crazy because I was a girl in school who loved to read. Reading was my favorite subject, one of my favorite subjects, and I was very good at it. And I always loved to read books. And I'm not saying that I won't run across a book that I like again and start reading it. But right now, the Bible is my focus and it's my main focus. And it's like my number one priority as far as any book. So reading a book and the Bible, you know, is like top priority for me right now. So yeah. Number seven is watching a classic movie or old movie that made you happy or have nostalgia or that had meaning and value in it. Now, I don't know about y'all, y'all. My nose is itching. Every time I use this product, y'all, my nose be itching. I guess it be irritating. But anyway, I don't know about y'all, but I am a girl of the 90s era. And I love watching movies that I used to watch in the, that was back in the 90s, the early 2000s whether it's on BET, whether it's on Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, or just a movie overall, whatever the network was, y'all, I'm big on the Disney Plus and stuff like that, Paramount, all of that. So for me, it's good for me. I just love watching movies that I used to watch when I was a kid because those movies or TV shows had so much meaning and value and purpose in it that today's kids wouldn't even understand everything had meaning everything had value everything had purpose every time like you watch an old movie it always made you motivated like um to do better or if you get kicked down get back up 
or it's not about winning it's about doing what you love it's so many things so many movies like that i have came across y'all that i used to watch it just gave me that nostalgia feeling feeling where i was who i was with was it with family just give you that old good heartwarming feeling so i always say is to watch an old classic movie sit down relax watch tv okay okay y'all so and that was my seven major mental health improvement but i get six more bonus tips so i'm gonna kind of run through them. another one is working out and improving yourself so not it's nothing like improving yourself and it's nothing like working out or working on yourself in general anytime i work on something on myself regardless if it have to do with mentally physically anytime i'm doing something to better myself i always feel good so that's another one number i don't want to say no number another bonus tip is staying away from draining and negative people and things yes negative people can be very much a part of your downfall when it comes to mental health because some people are just negative some people are stressful some people are draining so i would say cut those people off and stay away from them as possible Cut them off, block them, do what you have to do. Um, another bonus tip is less time on your phone. I don't know about y'all, y'all, but when I stay off of my phone and I'm more in tune with the real world, it's, it's where I feel better at. And I'm not saying like, I don't, I like my phone, okay? I be on my phone, but it's just like, when I put my phone down and actually take time to, again, watch TV, watch movies and stuff like that, I feel great and I feel good. Um, another bonus tip is learning new things, learning new things. So if y'all don't know, I've been into a lot of hair care, natural hair care lately, meaning like I'm finding natural herbs and remedies and stuff for hair growth, um, beauty for my skin and all of that. So me learning these new things and focusing on that is improving my mental health because it's just like anything that's beneficial and pot and have a positive outcome on then that's improving your mental health right there. Um, another thing, somebody said, okay, y'all, I got this from, I remember somebody saying it, it deletes social media. Don't, you ain't got to delete it. Because I feel like even if you don't watch social media, even if you don't see things on social media, you can see it in real life or on the news. So trying to run away from it on social media, you'll just run into it somewhere else. So I feel like... Mm -hmm. Like I said, you don't have to delete your social media. Just be mindful of the things that you watch and the people that you follow. That plays a big part in it too. So y'all, there was my bonus tips for mental health improvement. And I hope this video resonated with somebody, okay? Anybody. Because mental health is very important. And I feel like everybody deserves to have um, a positive mental health or things that help them with their mental health because you just never know what a person going through. I don't care how big that smile is. I don't care how white their teeth are. You never know when somebody is going through something. You just never know. I don't care what it looked like on the outside because you're from the outside trying to look in, but you're not, you, you have no idea. You probably couldn't even fathom what a person has been going through. So, with that being said, I hope that everybody who watched this video, mental health is going in the right direction. I pray that better days are ahead for y'all. And I love y'all. If nobody ever told y'all that they love you, I love you. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.